Mr. Anderson, welcome back. So this video is either going to give you great relief or it's going to piss you off even further. In the last video, I debunked a couple of uh, lies or SEO hoaxes that a, a lot of SEO so-called experts tell you. Uh, I don't know if it's intentional or if they just don't know any better. But I'm going to debunk another one. One is called the Google Sandbox. But let me show you something. I already showed you my site uh, for the internet. If you weren't on here, you might want to go ahead and uh, go back a couple videos, check out the live streams and everything. But that one indexed within days. Now, just to show you it's not a fluke, as you can see. Um, okay, let's see. Indexing, process, and data. Let's see. Pages index, processing data. It's saying it's not indexed or it's saying it doesn't have anything indexed, but that is not true. So we're going to come over here and I'm going to show you that it's more about supply and demand. There's no such thing as a Google sandbox. That's a lie. OK, a lot of you guys are going after super competitive keywords with a brand new, fresh domain with a crap load of competition. And that's why you're not seeing your rankings. OK, it's saying it's indexed, but. I'm not seeing my rankings. That's because you're going after crazy stuff with a brand new site, okay? You have to control supply and demand. So let me show you something. I'm going to take this right here. Pause. Uh, this is a Weebly site, a brand new Weebly site. Just made a couple days ago, as you can see. It's not even indexed yet, okay? So we're going to go over here. And first of all, let me show you something. I also did these other videos. I tested out. I tested out just to see how weak the first page of Google is. All right. We're ranking, what is this? Number two for uh, butt augmentation, pretty much like butt implants type situation in Boston in Spanish. Yes, that's in the United States. And we got that, right? I don't even think we made a, a Boston page yet on the site, but that's our orange video right there. Then when you look at this one right here, this is uh, the best plastic surgeons in New York. And yes, if you watch the other video, I showed that it does have surge volume. OK, now let's scroll down. Boom. You see it right there, too. So two first page rankings, but that's not the Weebly site. Let me show you this. This is literally overnight, overnight rankings. That's Indiana right there. The best plastic surgeons in Indiana. So if it's a sandbox, you would not see us ranking on the first page of Google right here. This is us. If you don't believe it, I'll go to it. Boom. Watch this. This is us on the first page of Google. Once again, this is a Weebly, the best plastic surgeons in Indiana. Yes, that's supposed to be super competitive, but it is low competition when you do foreign SEO. And yes, there's a huge community of Spanish speaking people that you guys ignore and you just go after Americans. And that's why you're not getting any money. OK, now I'm going to give you one more. Watch this. This is all the whole purpose is to debunk the um, oh, there is no uh, um I mean, <laughs> debunk the fact that people think it's a, it's a sandbox. It's not a sandbox. You're just not doing the proper keyword research. You're using them stupid tools, and those tools don't know nothing, okay? Those tools don't know Google like Google knows Google. Uh, let me see. This is the keyword I want to get right here. Plastic surgeons, the best plastic surgeons near you. That's a pretty good keyword, wouldn't you think? Boom. I'll take that. All right, the best plastic surgeons near you. So far, these are the only two index pages. But as you can see, boom, we got right there. And we got a video as well. Look, three days ago. But this one was done yesterday. All right, <laughs> yesterday. Yesterday. All my trouble seems so far away. And look at this. We are one, two, three, four, number four on the first page of Google for the best plastic surgeons near me. And then we got the uh, number five spot with a video. And meanwhile, Google is talking about they ain't even done crawling it yet. So if it was a sandbox, 
if it was a Google sandbox, I wouldn't be able to show you this with this site. I also wouldn't be able to show you this with, oh, let's see, internet. Oh, hold on. Uh, alternatives. Alternatives to the Spectrum Internet Los Angeles. This is also another one that we just did that according to regular SEO rules should be in the Google sandbox. But if you're doing this SEO game properly, you can skip past the sandbox. Look at us. We're right here on the first page of Google for the uh, alternative alternative to Spectrum Internet in Los Angeles. And yes, that gets traffic as well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, how do you feel? Do you feel more confident to go out there and do it? So it's like, what do you want to do? You want to show up on these live streams that I have between the hours of 5 and 7 p.m. Monday through Fridays or Monday through Thursdays. We're going to start that Mondays through Thursdays. And I will show you how to get past all of these lies and all of this bull crap that's been holding you guys back so you can get to the rankings and that can translate to the money. All right. So we do things like using we leverage Parasite SEO, you know, what I'm saying entities that are already trusted in Google so it can pass any type of probation phases that people be talking about. You know what I'm saying? And then we leverage we leverage programmatic. The reason why they are, are being trusted so well is because of the site structure. And we use programmatic SEO and we use legal duplicate content. OK, if you don't know what that is, you definitely got to like like be on this channel, man. OK, be on this channel. So we we leverage we do whatever we can do to get to the money super fast. OK, the rankings fast and the money fast. OK, so Parasite SEO, foreign SEO is super easy. Uh, then, then, you know, our perfect interlinking uh, uh, strategies and everything similar to like a Wikipedia. So so we structure it and we give Google what it wants. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. You do not have to worry about a Google sandbox. Google will freaking index your pages as soon as they possibly can. Like it's not even showing up in the metrics yet but it's showing up on Google, even though it told me I got some errors with the FAQ code and the HTML code on there, it's still indexed it. And you want to know why? The reason is because there's no supply for these keywords. There's a demand for it, but Google can't show up with anything. You, you look on there and there's American websites ranking, <laughs> you know, English websites and stuff. Google needed something to show for this keyword. So if you look for keywords like that with a demand, but it's short in the supply, then Google will be like, they can't, they don't have time to put you in some type of probation sandbox crap. They're going to throw you out there because they need something for that keyword. So when you're doing your keyword research, look for that. Like, okay, we want low competition and high volume and blah, blah, blah. But don't even worry about all those specific types of metrics and stuff. Focus on the fact is, okay, is it anything answering this question when I search Google? And I'm not talking about, uh, you know, do the sites look good or something like that? No, no, no. Is it answering this question? And if it's not in Spanish, then it can't possibly be answering this question properly. If a person typed it in Spanish, then obviously they probably don't speak that good English. So just because it might you see a Zillow on the first page or or an Airbnb or a high domain authority site on the first page, that doesn't mean you can't outrank them as you just saw I did, right? And overnight, literally. And this is with AI, SEO content and all of that extra stuff, right? And no backlinks. There's some decent interlinking, right? So like, look, you just need to have the supply for the demand, all right? And you can skip past a freaking sandbox myth.